Hey friends, welcome back to Casey's Kitchen here at Boots and Bounty Homestead. Today, you see a lot of green stuff laying around again here. And I'm going to show you, since this is the time of season to where we've planted our leaf lettuces and there may be more than we can eat at one time coming in the garden. Or it may be where you have freezing temperatures where you don't have a greenhouse or anything to really protect them as well as you would like. And you have to cut them all down before a big snow or big freeze comes. I'm going to give you some tips today and show you how to preserve your lettuce in the refrigerator for two to three weeks. And it's still going to be just as crispy as the day that you cut it out of the garden, if not crispier since it's cold. So, to start off, after you have cut down the lettuce that you want, you want to go ahead and wash it. Some people prefer washing it more than others. That's okay. You take care of your vegetables the way you want to take care of them. I just put them through a cold rinse and made sure that I had all of the underlying leaves that kind of tend to stay towards the bottom and they, they rotten or maybe some have frozen and they've gotten a little softer. So I went through and I picked out all of those. And if you go back and watch my last garden tour that I did for the first one of 2021, you will see that I have hay and leaves that is kind of my, my mulch or my ground cover helping to protect and hold in the heat for my vegetables. So I had to remove some of that as well. But go ahead and rinse them. And I've just laid them out here on towels. And uh, you can see they're still, still real firm. And I have the Seeded Simpson and Butter Crunch here. So, once you've got it all rinsed out, you don't have to dry them off or anything. Leave them wet. Because what we're going to do, the uh, way you preserve these or store them is going to be with paper towels. Or if you have recyclable like bamboo towels or tea towels could probably even work in this case if you wanted to reuse it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use paper towels for this, just to do a quick run through and show you how to store them. Okay, stick around. So the first layer that we want on the bottom, and I have the, the single serve napkins that are about six inches wide um, on here. They're about six inches wide. Um, now, I usually put four to five on the bottom. And I'll show you why in just a second. The rest of them are going to be one paper towel less than that. And what we want to do with this one is I fold it neatly so I can unfold it easier. So just fold it neatly. And I usually just, you know, fold it over a few times and then fold it in half. And we want to wet this real quick. Just with cold water until it's damp. All right, and then we're going to unfold it and lay it out flat. You can find the ending of it. All right. I'll move my lettuces over. All right, so we're going to lay this flat. And now we're going to take our lettuce leaves, 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 and we're just going to lay them out in a single layer. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty. Just lay them out in a single layer. And do not cross over the last paper towel um, that we have there. Or if you have the regular wide paper towels, um, don't cross over that last half. So leave about six inches on the end. And I don't quite go... All the way to this end either I leave about an inch or so down there so whenever I'm happy with how I've got it all laid out and kind of look through it as you put it on there all right the next layer is going to be like I said six inches or one paper towel less than what you have all right and we're also going to wet this Just to where it's damp. So we're going to lay this paper towel down on top of that one. And then do another single layer. This will be your second layer. However you want. All 
All right, and again, we still got our six inches down here uncovered. Just doing a single layer here. Um, if you want to, you can stop here and do the next step, or you can go ahead and put one more layer um, on top of this. Depending on how fluffy your lettuce is, um, if it's more of a flat leaf, you could do three layers or so. If it's more, you know, curled up and kind of gnarly, um, you may not want to squish it as much. So I'm going to stop here and go ahead and show you for the next step. Like I said, if you want to go ahead and do another layer, just dampen your towel, put it down and put another layer and then continue on with the next step. So what we're going to do is take this last sheet over here and fold it over. Okay. And I'm going to turn this around. All right. And what we're going to do is just fold this in half, just lightly. Don't force it. And then roll it up as it lets you. Okay. You don't want to squish it. You don't want it to do anything that it doesn't want to do because there is lettuce in there. And you can stick a few extra in the ends. All right. So now it's rolled up. And we're not going to push it or smash it or anything. It's, you're going to leave it just the way it is, okay? And what we need is a gallon bag or some kind of plastic container to put this in or glass, whatever you use in your home. Just need some something to store it in that's going to be airtight, okay? So let's go get that real quick. Okay, so here I'm going to use just a regular gallon storage bag. It's just easier for us to grab out and go. And we're going to take all of this and put it in the bag. All right. And then we want to try to get out some of the air, but not really smash it, okay? So try to get most of the air out. So there are your lettuces. And it's going to go in the refrigerator, and you're going to keep it cool, um, semi-airtight. And it will keep two to three weeks. Now... I have this one that I have had in the refrigerator, I think for going on three weeks now. This is at the end of its life, okay? <laughs> but I wanna show you what it looks like. Now, some of the the leaf um, the leaves have started to break down just because they were old when I put them in here anyways. So you can see that's the discoloration on the paper towel. But I wanted to show you how to get these out. Whenever you unroll it, you're just going to, you know, just take them, take, take a bunch and cut it up, throw it in a bowl, whatever you want to fix your salad or whatever you're using it for. But I wanted to show you they're not limp. They are still just as crispy as whenever I cut them. It's got extra leaf on it. This is the same thing. This is the black seeded Simpson. They are exactly the same. This one is three weeks old. This one was cut today. There's no difference in them. Other than age and a little bit of discoloration, like this one right here. It's got a little discoloration, but it may have looked like that when I put it in there. I don't remember, but I mean, yeah, they're, they're not limp at all. Well, that one's broke. They're not limp or anything. They are still just as fresh and crunchy. Um, like, I don't know if you can hear that. They're still crunchy. So we'll be eating these tomorrow because they need to be eaten. I'm going to roll this back up. So just to show you, you know, they will keep a while. Just keep your eye on them and um, eat them as fast as you can. But if you have to skip a few days, it's okay. So there you go. There's a simple way to keep your lettuce or greens or anything that you want to eat fresh stored for a while until you're able to get to them. I hope you enjoy and Go out and harvest some lettuce so you don't have to go out every day in the cold and cut a bowl of salad or something. Get you about a week's worth and go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. And uh, that way you'll already have it in the house ready to go. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <music>